onto Morocco and animation as the first Moroccan animated films are being produced by animation studios in Casablanca, telling stories that have been inspired by traditional folk tales. Animation studio Artcoustic, along with Lorem and Never Seen, will produce two series made up of 20 to 30 episodes, each three to five minutes long. Script writing alone took a year to do, and the content of these films will honor the cultural heritage of the country. The 3D artist and cartoonist in the studio studied graphic design and also taught themselves through online learning platforms. Moroccans are used to watching foreign TV translated into Arabic, and now they will be able to watch animated films in their own dialect. It is a stepping stone in the country's audiovisual industry. For many that suffer from cerebral palsy and motor neuron disease, using a computer can be extremely difficult. But now, a team of researchers at Sydney University has come up with a simple solution, a bracelet that translates subtle arm and also hand movements into usable computer commands. 20-year-old Arshian Shah has been in a wheelchair for his whole life. He was born with cerebral palsy, a disorder that affects a person's ability to move and maintain balance. Two years ago, undergraduate honor student Stephen Lin and Dr. Anusha Witana designed a bracelet with sensors that picks up the tiniest of movements and vibrations made in the carpal tunnel, the part of the wrist that contains the tendons that control the hands. When fingers are moved, the vibrations they create are transmitted via Bluetooth to a computer program. An individual's specific movement patterns are then instantaneously interpreted by machine learning. The bracelet springs can be personalized and become extremely sensitive to a particular user's needs and is less complicated than other devices. The device is manufactured using a 3D printer, uh, so there is no need for users to wait for the device to be manufactured in a factory. The bracelet Shah is using today is actually fine-tuned to another user who's been testing it for a while, but it's so efficient that it still manages to interpret Shah's intentions and in playing a basic video game that requires cutting virtual fruit in pieces.